Hello everyone, today I will show you the easiest way to get started with Fortran programming. So, before we begin, let me discuss what, the, what are the softwares that we need. So, we need three things, a compiler, a text editor to write our code, and uh, some extension for a Visual Studio Code, which is what we will use as a text editor. Now, a compiler is a software which will take our course and uh, turn it into machine language that the machine will be able to understand and we can uh, we will be able to execute it and there are a lot of compilers in the market the one that we will be using is called G Fortran it's a free and open source compiler and for the text editor we will be using Visual Studio Code and uh, so let's get started okay so the first thing that we'll be installing is our compiler. Now, the G Fortran, in order to install the G Fortran compiler, what we will be using is something called TDM GCC. So just search for it, TDM GCC, and I think this, the first result will appear here. And uh, go to the download section. I think you can here you can see it here go to the download sector and there are three types of download that you can download and I will recommend to you that you download the middle one which is TDM 64 GCC and followed by the version number so maybe when you are seeing this tutorial the version number has changed or something but remember just download the one that starts with TDM 64 so I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it uh, again, but you can download it from here. So once downloaded, you need to uh, double click on it and um, it will ask for administrative password and then it will uh, come up with this screen. So we need to create a new TDM GCC installation. So we'll click on this TDM create. And then uh, we'll be given this option, which is uh, either MinGW or MinGW64. Now, almost all the computers nowadays are 64-bit, so and, and so is for mine. So I'll choose the second one and I'll click Next. Now it will ask for the installation directory. It already have chosen one, which is in the C drive, and I, I think that's perfectly fine. So I'll just click Next. And now the, the important part. By default, it does not install the G Fortran compiler. So in order to install the G Fortran compiler, come over here in this drop down menu and change it to TDM GCC recommended all packages. So it will be first uh, only C and C++, but change it to all packages and click install. Now, this thing will take considerable amount of time to install. I think the servers are slow or something. So I will pause the video and I will come back when the installation is finished. So as you can see, the installation has been finished. And now I'll click next and just, I don't want to read anything, just I'll click finish. So how do I check that installation is successful? Well, open your start menu or and click and, and try and, and, and write CMD to get the command from. And if the installation is finished correctly, then we will be able to actually call our Fortran compiler from here. So just write G for trend and press enter. If it says fatal error, like what I have been, you know, what is shown here, then congratulations, your G for trend is successfully installed. Okay, so the next thing we want to install is our text editor, which is Visual Studio Code. Now, you can go to Google and just search for Visual Studio Code and uh, it should be you should be able to find the website and just download for windows click on here and it will download and then just follow the instruction to install it or you can even do even you can go to the microsoft store and just search for visual studio code
yeah, here we go. Visual Studio Code. And just you, you can just press the install button and it will install. So either way you can install those. Now once installed, now we need to download few add-ons in our text editor in order to use uh, it for Fortran programming. So, so from the left you have this bar right here and in the bar here is an uh, here is the option for extension which is also can be uh, actually uh, which can also be uh, used by uh, by pressing control shift x now once in the extension you need few extensions right so i have listed down the extensions right here you need c class c++ now we will, we will not be using c or c++ but still the next extension that we will be using which is modern fortran uh, that actually depends upon c and c++ extension so we need that extension and finally we need this code runner extension so okay so let's uh, first uh, download the c and c slash c slash c++ extension you can search right up here then you would be able to find it and once you have find it just press the install button it's that simple so it will take a few moments to install it well so it, it is installed now we'll be able to install uh, modern fortran so here we go you have modern fortran and we'll click on install again to install it so it is installed and the last extension that we need is code runner here we go Okay, and just press the install button again and it will install okay so we got all our extension installed now it's time to do some coding okay so click on here you know this is saying just no folder is open so I'll open a folder so I think in my e directory there is a for, uh, folder called Fortran I'll open that And here, let's uh, make a new file. So, in order to make a new file, there is an option here which says new file. Just click on that and let's call this uh, file whatever I want to do. Okay, let's call this hello.f95. F95 is the extension for Fortran, so you should, you have to use that. Okay, let's, uh, now we can start coding. I think the font size is it's tiny, it's very tiny, you can't able to see it clearly. I will increase the font size to 20. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's do it. Okay, program. I'll write a simple program which just prints the statement. Hello. my name is Sian. great so now well we will save our program first and then we need to run it so in order to run we can either press ctrl alt and n or we can come over here at the top right and there is a play button right here we can click on the play button now here you can see it says hello my name is Sian but few of the things that you need to understand here right so there are a few things that we need to change so one of the thing is that okay so you need to go to the settings that you will understand why these things need to be changed but um, the first thing we want to do is that instead of running this in this output to whatever it is instead of running it here we want to run our code in terminal Right, so uh, in order to do that, what we need to do is so we need to change few settings. So come over here, uh, I think here, okay, file, and you will be able to 
find uh, go to the preference and go to settings and inside here I think you can search for uh, okay you can search for terminal and uh, upon searching from terminal you can uh, actually the settings are laid out very nicely right here and you can click on this this uh, inside in so when you search for terminal it will uh, it will search all the settings that that have to do some do something with terminal and they are nicely laid out here uh, you know in groups depending on where the settings is and here is some inside the extension there is an uh, there is a here it's called run code configuration we want to change that just click on that and here the uh, here is the thing the the code runner run in terminal we want to click this one right so after clicking this one we can okay let's run this code again and it should run in terminal yeah there you go it is now running inside terminal that's perfectly fine that's all what we wanted so congratulations now you have a working fortran installation and you are ready to code